Hello you amazing hackers, hope you're all doing well. Today we're going to solve the reflected cross-site scripting with event handlers and href attributes blocked. So what this means is any event handler that you can think of, like on error, uh, on resize, on mouse out, uh, on exit I mean, sorry, uh, on mouse over, you have all these different uh, events that you can think of. They're all going to be blocked and so is the href attribute. It's going to be blocked directly, which means you cannot make a tag with h, uh, an a tag, so a link with an href attribute. That's not possible. Uh, so we have to going to find a different way. Now, when we look at the solution, we can see that uh, this solution is given, but no steps on how to achieve this solution or what it actually means. So we're going to go over that real quickly. First of all, we're going to copy and paste their attack factor, like they say. So of course you have your uh, own lab and you paste the attack factor after that. Now as you can see something new appeared, a click me in here and this looks like just a normal H, uh, a normal link tag but it's not and I'm going to show you guys why as well. So let's right click this and inspect the element and when we do that you can see that we have an SVG here with an A so a link attribute, a link tag but no href attribute and as you can see you have an animate tag in here as well. And the animate tag is specifically for SVGs in HTML5. So you can create a canvas and you can animate your SVGs. Uh, and inside this animation, so inside this image, uh, so-called, or inside the canvas, we put a text as well. And the text is going to be so we have something to click on. So this text is just there for decoration. Um, you can put anything in there, not just click me. Uh, you can put an image in there, you can put whatever you want in there, as long as the animation is correct. Now, how the website interprets this data is going to, uh, it, it's going to sound a little bit weird. And I'm going to tell you guys why. Uh, when we go back to the solution, you can see that we have, per, for example, percentage 3C in here. Now, this is URL encoded. Some special characters, you cannot just pass them in the URL, so you're going to have to encode them. Uh, and we're going to check out what this encoding means when we decode it. So I have a URL decoder open right now and I already decoded the message for you as you guys can see. So let's read what it says, shall we? As you can see, they create an SVG like it's uh, supposed to happen. They create your link attribute with the uh, A tag and then also the animation. Now they included some pluses in here. You cannot just put a space in a URL, uh, so if spaces are replaced with pluses. Uh, and the attribute name is going to be href, and the value is going to be JavaScript double point alert. So um, this specific animation is going to have an attribute called href, and it's going to have a value uh, of JavaScript alert one. And then it places the text in there so that it can, uh, you have something to click on to trigger this animation. So that's what's happening in the background. Um, when we try this attack factor, it's creating an SVG. This SVG contains a link. This complete link contains the animation with an attribute name, href in this case, and a value JavaScript. So it's going to interpret this link like a normal link with an href attribute and a value of JavaScript alert one. And the text is just there to have something to click on. So when we click it, as you can see, we have our attack factor. Now specifically to, um, if we want to uh, solve this lab, we're going to have to remove the me from the solution. So it's just going to have to say click and that's going to solve our labs for now. I would like to thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like because it really helps me. And if you're not subscribed yet, Please also subscribe because soon we'll be doing a 1500 subscriber giveaway. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.